Tell me if there's logic in this, if it makes sense. Oh, this is good. Uh, uh, pull this one up. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. This story just came out, okay? So U.S. women's soccer team yeah. will pocket at least $6.5 million uh, from the men's team reaching the World Cup knockout rounds more than they received for winning two successive World Cups. So mm. did you guys understand the story? So they get $13 million. I'll read it. U.S. Women's National Cup. Yeah. So uh, right there. The men's national team is now guaranteed a prize of $13 million after its 1-0 win. They're going to go into the final 16, meaning the U.S. Women's National Team will take a cut of $6.5 million. If the oh. men win their match against Netherlands on Saturday to reach the quarterfinals, they'll be taking home a minimum of $17 million. What do you think about this concept of whatever men do, we have to pay half of it to women? I mean, Andres. Fair and equal. That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, that kid, he's right. Yeah, no, it's. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, I got to look more. To, I did a whole piece on the uh, U.S. women's national team when they were complaining about the about getting the deal that they wanted, uh, which a lot of people don't know is they bar they asked for their original deal. They were the ones that petitioned for it, and then they didn't want to have it afterwards. So we did a whole piece of that during the pandemic. But yeah, it seems absolutely ridiculous. You know, I think it's um, yeah, it just seems. A, I mean, I don't know. Get paid what you generate. You know, eat what you kill. Seems like the most reasonable situation i don't what do you think about this well i'm gonna uh, uh bring up one of andrew schultz's jokes here I, I'm, I'm not gonna do a copyright thing this is yours i'm saying that up front but in your special infamous you address these types of issues feminism you were like there's oh, the yeah. part in the crowd where you were like yeah, yeah, yeah. i think we're on the same page here guys yeah, well yeah. you know like yeah, yeah. i went to one of these feminist marches they're screaming free the nipple you're like Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You know, I think we should have abortion. It's like, yeah, yeah that'd be good. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like, you were like, um, yeah. we need to we pay for we our need half. We need to pay for our half. Uh, Fucking do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you were yeah. like, are you guys feminists or fuckboys? Right. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that yeah, whole yeah. joke right there. Yeah, yeah. How feminists are becoming the men that they that, hated. That they exactly. hated. Yeah. And it was such, a, such an amazing perspective and the way that you oh, kind of teed you, it up with the audience yeah, yeah. But that's essentially this right here yeah this is redistribution of wealth though right and this is something you're not actually a fan of i assume right you know why because okay so we, we talked to our expert malik <laughs> and i said <laughs> malik, who, who gets malik. paid who gets paid uh, on the women's side who makes the most money and Malik out of nowhere says, well, women make more money in porn and uh, modeling. Uh, modeling. Yeah. Like, Malik, that, you, Malik, you watch a little too much porn, Malik. They just said, I hope I hope you're in the back watching, paying attention, not watching other clips <laughs> on your phone. He's not watching, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. He's, 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 he's busy. He's not hey, watching. Check the check. <coughs> you're that's looking at Malik. I was about to say. <laughs> no, no, no. That's Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who named him? Disney? Holy shit. Fucking white Malik. Yo, like, his dad's from the Caribbean. I that's how you got to name yourself so they don't yeah. think you stormed the Capitol. They're like, no, I wasn't there. I'm, I'm Malik. Yeah, my name's Malik. I'm not John Johnson. I'm no, Malik. Like, like, all right, all right. I am Malik. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Definitely not me. Oh, that's so freaking oh, that's funny, so true. Dude. So if you say that, so women, female models, they're making a lot more money than yeah. what are we going to do? Let's take it and split it. It just doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, why There's do no so logic many women go to, go to college, man? That's unfair. 64 <laughs> percent to 36 percent yeah. Hey, yeah we gotta stop women from yeah. learning yeah. bro. that's, that's a good like, point according to that we should stop at least 14 percent of these women going out there and learning you like sound. or i guess maybe the the population's like 55 yeah. 45 yeah. but still it's absurd yeah so with all the craziness taking place i believe future looks bright if you believe future looks bright get your latest future looks bright hat of value tamen it says future looks bright here future looks bright here we got them in white we got them in black we got them in red are black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people wore it in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the Future Looks Bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying Future Looks Bright. To order your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.